Hello everybody, it's Martin again. I'm a parent and a Pokemon fan, and I'm trying something new. So, I wanted to make my own team because it felt like I wasn't doing super great with another person's team, and I just wanted to see where it could go and what would happen. So, I started making a team uh, based around Palafin. And this team is not perfect, it's not fully trained, there's still things to change, but I just wanted to see what I could do with what I had and push it and see where we were going and all that jazz. So here's the team. Well, let me show you in the team in a quick second. First of all, uh, this was an experience learning about their amazing community that exists around this game. Uh, I just went on, I, I needed help evolving a palafin uh, and it, fortunately, Discord is an amazing resource, and I just was able to type my name in and just ask for some help, and somebody joined me and really helped me out. Now, you'll notice that I'm now in Master Ball, which, woo, nice job, nice job. Uh, and I, I'll just explain how I got there. So, this is the team. Nyaskarada, Salamence, Volcarona, Gudra, Palafin, and Pelipper. Now, the idea is Palafin is always going to be switching out, and everybody knows that. Everybody can see that, everybody knows it's going to happen. So I'm going to lead Palafin with something that will either support it in some way and have a switch in in the back that just can take whatever's coming. Gudra is a great switch in for special attackers and anything grass because it's running Sap Sipper. And Pelipper is also a great switch in in case I just wanted to faint or uh, Volcarona has been a great switch in. Now, that, that is just the general idea of the team. Miascarada is there to threaten and also to help me out with uh, Dondozo teams. I started playing this team and I lost the first three, maybe four games in a row. Just tank, 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 got destroyed. And then, I don't know what happened, I may have caught my caught the wind in my sails or something along those lines and things just started going really well. And I won the last five games in a row. And so I'm riding that winning streak right now and it got me straight into Master Ball. And let's see if like that, like the thought process makes sense. Now, while I'm playing this game, uh, I'm kind of old school. I have some paper and pencil over here to just make notes. Uh, I think my goal for this team which we'll see if we make that goal, and I'm not going to be able to record all of these videos, but I want to try to play 100 matches and see how I end after those 100 matches. So, my starting record, I think it said 36 and 35, and I'll use that as a metric to keep track of my 100 battles. The reason I want to do 100 battles is, one, I want to test certain things out, and see what I can learn and see what needs to change and all that jazz and where I keep losing. And two, it gives me a concrete goal to pay attention to. So I, it, it, like a hundred trials with a home built team that hasn't been tested by other people seems like a very secure benchmark to evaluate whether or not I did a good job of training, whether or not I did a good job of building the team, etc. Now, let, let's, let's just get into a game and see what happens. Sorry, my team reports aren't as in-depth as uh, Aaron Zang's, but the man is a professional. I'm lucky right now I just put my son down for a nap, so hopefully we can get two or three games in and see where we go. Okay, yeah, definitely, 36 and 35. Now, the idea also is with 100 games, I want to see how high I can get in Master Ball goal, I, I guess my goal is just to get into single digit thousands right now. And we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Uh, the, the small bit of, no, oh, dang it. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign. So my little bit of prep work here is the only thing I've written down is all of the Pokemon's names and where they are speed-wise. 
so I know all their s speeds. Okay. Um, Trick Room. It's my first instinct. Armor Rouge is kind of tough, but uh, looks like they have... Okay, so Miascarada is really good. As a lead. We always lead Palafin. It's obvious, right? But we lead Palafin so that they can... Gudra's good into... Uh, Armor Rouge, sorry. Physical, special, physical, special, special, physical. So three physical attackers and three special attackers, so they're pretty balanced. Is Pelipper good into this team? Ice usually makes... Ice is scary. So I think I want Volcarona. So you'll notice I didn't bring Rain. Uh, the only real reason for not bringing Pelipper is I just felt like Pelipper wasn't super strong and I have to rely on Hydro Pump. But I could be wrong. Time to find out whether I made the right decision or not. So battle number one. Okay, Trick Room, Trick Room, Trick Room. Should have brought Pelipper. Uh, with this though, do they protect there? Who's running Trick Room on this? They have two Trick Room setters, so they're probably going to run a Trick Room here. Uh, Armor Rouge will probably Armor Cannon. I think I'm least scared of. Uh, Frigoraph? Frigoraph, right? Okay. Gudra is very specially bulky. So I'm not too scared about this. They're probably not going to be running... They're probably not going to go into Palafin on this. They'll probably try to eliminate my... Uh, Miascarada. Man, that is such a strong attack. Knocked off safety goggles, too. Armor Cannon, getting down to 1 HP here. I think we'll protect with Miascar the next turn and run an Earthquake. No. Well, do they anticipate an Earthquake for my Gudra? No way, right? I mean, I wouldn't anticipate an Earthquake from this. Maybe they do. And they wide guard me and just absolutely wreck my day. <laughs> but I wouldn't anticipate this. So four turns of Trick Room. Uh, protect would have been slower than wide guard, right? Dazzling Gleam. Ouch. Good thing I'm so bulky and that's not stab on them. That looks real scary when you see stuff like that, right? They predicted the protect. It's gotta be a gleam again from Frigoraph, right? Because it, 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 that's probably why they did that to KO my Miascarada and get some chip damage. Ooh. I think we protect with Gudra here. Do I have a safe switch in? Volcarone is a pretty safe switch in. I think I like that. So if they make contact, does Ice Shard count as contact? They don't have a rock move, I don't think. Okay. 
I, I, I trained this to be super bulky, so here comes a gleam, right? Yeah. Block. Does nothing. Fire resists it, and Glaive Rush. Interesting. They're really going for that Gudra right now. So, let's look at how much time do they have left? Two turns. Heat wave activates their dude, doesn't it? I think we rage powder here. And dragon claw here. Wait, is he going Terra Glass? Or he's gonna go something that resists Dragon, right? No, he just doubles down. Dragon, 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 Dragon. Okay, so in back I have Palafin, which he resists that, but it's kind of the best I can do right now. Twin Beam. Interesting. Would not have called that. speed and trick room how interesting maybe they KO here then I can just hurt by rocky helmet burn oh no he can't be burned because of his ability so their last turn of trick room we're gonna go for a jet punch I think He's probably protecting with that. Right? It would just make sense to protect that. But in case they don't protect, we have to punish, right? What would come out of Ice Shard? Yeah, he's got to protect with this, otherwise he probably loses. Unless he's running... It's got to be Ice Shard. Which might KO my Gudra, which is actually scary. Ah, crap. That's okay. Oh my gosh. I'm stupid. Well, I just lost. I lost because of one move. I just lost because of one move. Because I am i don't know what's going on. I forgot about that ability. Oh, I all lost. it's all lost because I can't use a different move now. Um, yeah. Trick room still up? No, no trick room. So what, what's my chance? No, I just gotta run. Yeah, I lost because I forgot about Armor Tail. Oh man, I need to write that down. Armor Tail. Armor Tail just lost me. Well, actually, I lost because I didn't think about Armor Tail. So I'm going to make a note. Armor Tail slash Queen. Majesty. Etc. All because I'm dumb. Okay. That's okay. There was some learning right there. I, th I felt like I had that one in hand. If I had also called that ice shard. Well, I did call the ice shard, but like I didn't think about it. What was the move from... Frigoraph. I don't remember. That's okay. Ghost, 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 ghost. Lots of ghosts, which means is gonna be really good, but I don't think I wanna bring Meowskarata up front. 
They're probably going to bring some Intimidate, so Volcarona is pretty good against Intimidate. They have a lot of physical guys. We know we want Miascara out in Bath. Do I bring Salamence just for the Intimidate ability? I think that Dragapult is going to absolutely destroy me. Pretty sure it's going to absolutely destroy me. So. Is that that Boom Burst? The Boom Burst? Uh, toxicity? What is my answer to that? I feel like Gudra is my answer. So they have a bunch of physical attackers and then boom burst in the back. So we'll find out if they're going to lead the boom burst or if they're going to abandon it and use all their physical attackers. Ghost is really strong. I should have... So I... The Salamence on this team, I might just be mixing. Yep. Fake out Boom Burst. I think we Quiver Dance and start setting up. So here comes Fake Out Boom Burst, right? I think I noticed this a little too late. I don't know how this is gonna do. He didn't tear it though. Oh, he did tear it. Balderdash. Does he fake out the Volcarona or does he just. Or was he thinking about faking out the. Oh, I bet you they're worried about flip turn. So they probably. Nope, never mind. At least I get some damage on him. Burn? No burn. Boom burst. That's why they have so many ghosts on this team. Holy bonkers, that's strong. It's gotta be fragile though, right? Stabby, stabby, stabby. I think it's choice. Oh. Light screen. Smart move. He thinks my Gudra is special. Don't blame him. So he's probably going to set up a reflect after that, right? So it's double screens, he'll set up a reflect. So I have to beat him through a reflect, which means I need to just have as much damage as possible. Is this going to bite me in the butt just like that last game? How do I check? There we go. No, I don't think so. So we're going to bring as much pain as we can from that. And then as much as pain as we can get. So hopefully this jet punch KOs and I don't even have to worry about this. Would it go faster than Prankster? Time to find out. It is faster than Prankster, so we get it down before the Excellent. 
Okay. Now I just gotta know what's in back for them. Quash, yes. Faster than your prankster. Interesting. He was trying to quash him, but he was faster than your prankster. This is the strength of Pavlik. Actually, I think this just means. So, I'm gonna make a note of that. Unless max speed. So. Intimidate. Oh, crap. Um. I gotta just jet punch, don't I? Am I faster than Dragonfold? I don't think so. But we're gonna find out right now. Oh! Oh! Man. I need to learn about Protect. Now, is he just gonna Dragon Dance on me? Or is he gonna Earthquake? Should I split my damage to cover for that? So, every game I've lost has been because I missed a Protect call. Like, for example, that one. Not every game, but most games I lose. So I just got, I just, maybe I'll write the word protect at the top of my page so I know what I'm doing. So maybe we can reverse what just happened to him. Doubtful, but. Yeah, no chance. Oh, well that simplifies things. Now he's set me up for a double up into Gyarados, which probably means he's going to protect it, right? I got no hope otherwise unless... He doesn't have protect on it. Is it choice then? That's why that, that's literally why that just happened. Overgrow. Overgrow and the crit ignored. So he is faster. He's faster, so if he protects here, he didn't. He's going for Phantom Force again. I have no choice. We keep going for this. I can dodge. Oh! I should have protected. Right? Protect would have covered for Dragon Knights. So I need... Oh, I, I think I got this. And I forgot about Sucker Punch. But that was a lot closer game than I thought. It was fun. So if I had just protected for Dragon Darts, I would have won that game. So I need to just slow down. So I guess the note for that game is slow my butt down. And also Overgrow is really good. Okay. But also, this means uh, Dragapult is faster. Dragapult. Okay. Let's try one more. Oh! The moment I win five games in a row and then suddenly I lose two in a row. That's okay. We're 
two matches in to truly exploring. So Dragapult, I should just always assume Dragapult is faster. Okay, Volcarona looks really good here. I'm probably gonna go for some revive shenanigans. So they're gonna do some revive. Who are they looking to revive? Pelipper looks good to protect. I just have to remember. Uh, Pelipper is good into Miascarada and the Skeledurge. The only thing it's weak into is that Pommy. Dragapult again. This is the one weakness of having Volcarona and Pelipper. Rain is going to weaken my fire. I don't have a super safe switch and I'm definitely committing to switching into Pelipper. Interesting. Well, let's see what happens. I guess we can Rage Powder to guarantee my switch into Pelipper is a safe switch in, but that's dependent upon what they're leading. What did I expect them to lead? I thought a mouse hold, well, Palmot, Palmot, yeah. Palmot and Cat. So they lead the Cat so that I can't flip turn. This is a strong lead into me. I don't think they realize how strong this is, though. Everything they have is weak against my Volcarona. If I just start Quiver Dancing... I like that. And we're gonna switch into... Actually, maybe I should Heat Wave. I like setups, though. Setups make them do something to answer me, so I'm going to I have this interesting feeling that maybe my Pelipper shouldn't have a damp rock. So now... You think they run... Oh! I forgot that was a move. Knock off. Knock off Dank Rock, doesn't matter to me. Volcarona flinched. I think we just... We go for some of this. And I don't mind losing Pelipper. But their knockoff isn't going to be as strong. Because I don't have an item anymore. But they're probably going to use an electric move from Palmot. So that means Miascarada is probably going to go into there. What's my other option? Switch into my own Miascarada? It's terrible. Don't want to switch into anything right now. So I think we're going to maybe set up a Tailwind. No. So what did I just learn right there? Burn. Great. Hurt by a helmet. Does it knock out the helmet? It does. That's painful. Double shot. Goodbye. Pelipper. That's fine by me. The burn will be helpful. Out of electricity. Excellent. I love that. Special attack rows for some fence rows. That means it's just a fighting type. It's still carrying an item, though. It probably had a Sash, but the Sash is definitely gone. We're gonna put this guy in. Is that enough to carry that on the Oscarada? Or do I keep setting up? This plus one local run up. Well, he knocked off an item, so I'm not actually going to do that fast. So we're going to do this. 
and probably flower trick into Palmont so they can't do their revive. Shenanigree. Shenanigunry. Yeah. Much, much weaker. Oh, Neoscarada is too strong. Okay, so they knocked off, but I get another Quiver Dance up. Grass is four times weak. They probably have a dark. It looks like they might be locked in to knock off, so they, maybe they're choiced. Either they won the speed tie or they're choice scarf. I have two very threatening things out here right now. Dragon Pole. What am I worried about from Dragon Pole? darts into my attack. Oh, yes. U-turn. Does he not sucker punch here? Sucker punch and maybe another U-turn. I haven't even used Palafin. Do I need Choice Band? Oh, he got locked into U-Turn. That's really too bad. So I can just Rage Powder for everything. For days right now, right? And knock off the crap out of him. He'll probably change up moves right here. But I double resist Steel. Dark is pretty good against me. Let's see if he sucker punched again. Not very effective. What do we knock off? Life or Not very effective. Speed fell, doesn't matter. And then rage powder again, right? How many turns are left on this ring? Two turns left, doesn't matter. Rage powder just to get rid of old Corona. And I guess. Neither are super effective, but Flower Trick is pretty gosh darn good, because it'll crit. What a good match. So, my main learning, I, I don't think I can lose this ring. Unless he does something black. Oh my goodness gracious. Miascarada is not doing super great into that. That's okay. So now he's going to switch to... Hold up, I have to jump the gun. May have jumped the gun here. Do I not close combat here? What could he do? What would be the... If he goes ghost, then I just lose. So I can't do that. Actually, close combat with a knockoff, because then if he goes, goes. He's probably going to sucker punch me. So let's just, I think this covers all my bases. 
Where's the loss in here? Yeah, so he didn't go ghost. Four times two. Excellent. Good game, my man. Okay, so my main learning here is Palafin is more of a bait for this team as opposed for well, also it's a it's an end game sweeper with jet priority and Jesus armor tail. Just I have to be aware of it. So these are just the two games I lost. I lost because one he had a great protect call and I doubled up into it and I wasted a whole turn. So that that's just like a, a major swing for them. And then the second one, dude at armor tail, and I locked myself into a priority move. And I just that's an instant loss. No chance. Anywho, overall fun. Got a couple notes down. Uh, played three games, one and two, and had some fun. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.